Coach AJ here with the Short Game Pros. Normally we're here providing you tips and advice on how to have more fun and score lower around the green. Today we've got a different thing in mind. Today we're talking about social distancing on the golf course. Lately for all of us that have had the opportunity to be playing golf, uh, we've been playing with noodles in the cup, finding a way to uh, prevent all of us from having to touch the flag stick. Luckily a couple of companies came out with new products lately to help get the ball out of the cup uh, without touching that flag stick. The prices for those for an 18 hole course are four to five hundred dollars. We've got a 36 hole facility plus practice facilities. We're looking at an outlay of over a thousand. We thought it might be fun to come up with our own product. So that's just what we've done. It took a couple of days. If you follow our story on Instagram at Short Game Pros, uh, you've seen us working on it. Everything from uh, PVC pipes to different types of hardware. Uh, at the end of the day, this is our product that we came up with. Uh, keep watching. We're going to show you how we made it. All right, here we are in the workshop, aka my garage, and I'm going to walk you through what we need to uh, to build this product. Uh, first, special thanks to my guys that helped me create this. I've got the parts here in front of us uh, to walk you through what we're going to do today. So just a couple parts we need. We can buy them all at Home Depot where I picked them up. First, we need a two foot rod of all thread. So this all thread is quarter inch thick and you should find it in the, uh, in the hardware department. Also, we're gonna need some nuts. So you're gonna need four quarter inch nuts to go on that all thread eventually. And then we're gonna need some washers as well. So washer size may depend on if you have reflectors in the middle of your flag or not, or depending on how thick your flag stick is. Uh, but to get the ball out effectively, the bottom washer in this project needs to be at least two inches, preferably two and a half or three inches in diameter uh, to effectively get the ball out. The inner diameter, just make sure yours can fit over your, uh, your reflector. So we're using a one inch interior diameter or bolt size and then two and a half inch uh, exterior uh, diameter. First thing we need to do is we need to take this all thread and we need to bend it into shape. For you guys from having to watch that, I went ahead and did that. Um, even though it is pretty strong stuff, you can do it with your hands or in a vise. Um, so just bend over the top. Next thing we're going to do, uh, another product we got at uh, Home Depot today, uh, is called Plasti Dip. So I had never heard of this before. Um, Tom shared this with me. But this is actually what they use to put on plier handles. Um, and it, heck, it worked great for us. So we know that this is going to be the end that they're lifting with either their putter or potentially in here that they're lifting with their putter shaft. Um, so by dipping it in this, it's gonna protect their Scotty Cameron. All right, so pretty simple. You just pop the cap. You're gonna give it a nice gentle dip. You're gonna let it drip for a while. Set it to dry for maybe five minutes. Do it again. You're gonna have a nice coating. So what that's gonna look like is this. All right, it's super soft to feel. I mean, again, just picture a pliers handle and uh, you'll know just what it feels like. So you wouldn't have to worry about anybody scratching their putter, which would be great. So now we have the product that we need. So we've got the all thread, we've bent it from the top, and now we're gonna start putting on um, our bolts. So we're gonna fast forward through this part, because this... All right, we're gonna wanna put that first bolt, see if I can zoom it in there, about halfway, so about a foot onto this rod. All right, then we're gonna take um, our washer, and how am I gonna apply this washer on here? Okay, clearly that's not gonna work. It's not gonna stay like this. The inside of this washer is actually gonna be going around the flag stick, uh, which we're gonna demonstrate later. So I need to punch a hole in this real quick. So I've got a quarter inch uh, drill bit that I'm gonna just mark right here, right in the middle, and we're just gonna punch a quarter inch drill bit right through there. We did it just by putting it in a vise and just punching it right through. Uh, you could also put it on a drill press. Uh, comes out looking like that. Slide that on. Throw on another washer. Okay, so now we've got one, one washer uh, with two nuts secured that halfway up. 
then we're gonna need to put on another washer to secure the second one. So this top washer, the purpose of this top washer is just to secure this unit to the flag stick. All right, this second washer, same, is going to be what actually gets the ball out of the bottom of the cup. All right. Okay, there we go. So now we've got, go ahead and pull this out for you. We've got our design. These are still pretty loose, so we're gonna tighten these uh, with a wrench. We can also throw on some all-purpose cement to get them nice and sturdy, but otherwise you've got this product ready to go, ready to take to the course. Uh, at the end of the day, this product costs just a couple of dollars and a pretty affordable project uh, if you or somebody on your team wants to do it. Hope you enjoyed our video tutorial today on how to create your own social distancing golf cup. This might be something you can create on your own, maybe take it to your board or your GM, see if it's something you can implement right away. At the same time, if you are looking for a high-end product that you can order, those products are pretty easy to find right now. I think they're emailing all of us trying to uh, get their business. But we just wanted to do our part here at Short Game Pros and give you another opportunity, maybe something that's a little more economical uh, for your club. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys again soon.